Okay, I'm with Phil Chapman of Sensei's Martial Arts. He's got a massive stand of equipment here. And we've got a special over here that if you're watching now, you can buy now by going to Sensei's website, and we'll give you that, those details shortly. A hundred bucks. It looks pretty good value to me. Tell us about that. What's in there? Basically, what you have is a kick shield, uh, mitts, pads, everything. Just the kick shield alone is $76. Yeah. But um, with everything, uh, it's over worth over $160 in value, but you're getting it all for $100. That's pretty good value. Oh, thanks, Emma. Now, Bill, what's the day been like? What's, what's the weekend been like for you? Ah, uh, been very good. I think people like that we bring out so much of a variety, so there's not just a couple of protection gear. We've got from high quality made swords for books, little trinkets, and I think it keeps a lot of the kids at, uh, occupied by looking, and I think it. And to be successful in these types of stores, you've got to have a wide variety of products, such as leg stretchers, packs, and make it affordable for people to come here. Because people have spent a lot of money to come here, so we give them good specials to buy Christmas presents and make it very affordable. And that's what we do at Sensei's. Now, you've been around for a long time as a martial yep. arts practitioner, and also you've been in the business of helping people get the best deals for over 30 years. Yes, that's great. What's been your success? What's the, the main method well, behind your success? One of the major things is we're a martial artist too. So we can see that we want quality products at a good price. We don't want to buy garbage that doesn't last. So we try to keep the prices down in the industry so they don't just start fluctuating. A lot of people, for instance, I had some clients come here yesterday and spent $800 on a sword and they seen that I had that same sword advertised for 220 so you can imagine a lot of people do get taken for a ride. What we ask for people, even if you're buying anywhere in Australia, ring us and we'll tell you what the real price is so you know if you're getting value for money. But most martial artists want quality. We don't want garbage. And we want to know about the product. We make it an experience when you come to Sensei's. You come into the shop, you'll spend an hour there talking to us. We've got, it's more like a museum in the store and it's the atmosphere that we create. And sometimes we have people there that come in and talk and suddenly we might have a, a big forum operating in the shop and then next minute you've got a guy, you'll bring up say Don Drager and a guy will go, yeah, well, he helped me get me black belt in Japan and wow, and you know, he'll say, oh yeah, and also uh, Jean LaBelle was there. So it's got a wealth of information that people come in and it's more of a martial arts community. We also help to get awards for martial arts instructors and we help them all out at reasonable prices. And because we're martial artists, we have our heart and soul in it, and that's our main goal, is to supply the products at a good price. We're not really in it for the money. We love the industry, and we love that information gets over there, and to preserve some of the traditions in the martial arts that's disappearing. The big things look after themselves. It's the little things that start to disappear. So we try and help and give as much information as we can. I know you're helping a lot of uh, school owners who are just starting up and yep. you're creating whole packs for them. You know, yep. like all the punching bags and mats. Yep. And things like that. So you create those sort of packages at a really good rate. And that, that yep. really helps them get their business started. Because it's always hard, always short on cash to start off yes. with. And they need that sort of cash flow with advertising and insurance and all those other things as well. Yep. But equipment, if you can save them on that, it's a major, major saving for them. Exactly. Now we fit our gyms where we customise the bags, customise all the kick shields with their names on it get all the mats, uh, we deck out a lot of gyms, we help them get us started and give them the advice to get them on, such as insurance that we pick up from Natcha U, Graham, okay, uh, information about the Child Protection Act, we actually help them with all the little things that no one's going to help them, what equipment to have, what medicine to have there, what first aid kits to have, we give them a lot of advice which is for free, we've also fitted out, the biggest gym in Sydney is Boxing Works, that was fitted out by us as well. So we fit out a lot of gyms and help a lot of people get established. We promote a lot of fight shows. We do nearly every fight production in kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA. We sponsored some famous boxers such as Shannon Taylor, Remy Ganoy, all of them. We do a lot of them. We even bring in the Argentinians from South America to fight on the show. We've got another one coming up in February who's going to be fighting somebody for a world title. So we help a lot of people. When the people come to us, all they've got to do is ring us and ask us for help and we're there. Okay, that's what we do. And that's why just it's a great in a, service. Yeah, yeah, just in a 10k radius of my shop there's around about 65 branches of martial arts because they've got somewhere to get a good equipment and get started. And now we're branching out, we're helping people in Sydney, uh, Bankstown areas, Castle Hill, the Penrith area, but all the money we make we put back into the industries and help these people because it's it's an industry that needs people to help. We supply all the fight gloves for free for all the national shows. 
We, we supply them for K1 down in Canberra this year. We do all the Stuart and Steve McKinnon from Bulldogs. We do the Pitbull with Paul Grimer. We do the Reinhardt Badados ones. Uh, we do all their show supply and gloves, bandages, prizes. We make sure we take groin guards, bandages. So everybody's being looked after. We really try and look after the fighters and make sure they've got the best equipment there so they don't get injured. Well, it's always you've got the best equipment because uh, a lot of equipment can fall apart very quickly, whether yep. it's seams or split and so forth, but you've got them coming back to you year in, year out. The other thing I just want to say, say is, where can they find you? I know that you, you sell equipment all around Australia, yep. and you've got a, a very big following around in New South Wales, of course, where they pop in and see you. Yep. But where can they find you? Where's the best place here? Is it the corner of the shop? The corner shop? What's the website well, like? The best, thing, the best thing to do is we've got our website being developed by... Uh, because again, we need to get one professionally done. I'm old school, I like people to ring me up and I like to have a face to face with them and talk to them, find out what products they need and then I cater the products to suit them. Instead of publishing out a catalog that costs X amount of money and then I have to transfer that onto my prices, I want people really to ring me. I'd rather deal personally, I'm old school, I like to talk to people like this and also I might know a wholesaler that's got it cheaper than what I do and I'll put them onto it. You know, so I try. That's great service. Yeah, and we do have an email set uh, site, which is uh, sensei's martial arts at yahoo.com.au. You can send us emails. We like to have the personal touch, and that's why I think we've been so successful. Yeah. We're not just a blank computer screen. I like to talk to the people, give them advice, maybe buy this product over that prior product. And again, a lot of those uh, big companies tell me what specials they got on, and I say, well, look, um, Sportsmaster's got a special on this week, or Morgan's got a special, or No Contest got some good gloves, or Airtex have got some specials. So we try and help them to get established and also to get the best price. We're not here just to make the money, we're here to help the industry. Well, of course, prices are changing with the fluctuation of the dollar, yes. whether, wherever they're important for China or Pakistan or whatever. Yeah. So it's great that you've got your finger on the pulse and that you can say you can guide the instructors and school owners that pick them from this one, like this month here, there's a big shipment here, this is available. Yep. It's probably going to be better value if you're not too fuss about brand, all the quality is very similar, all that sort of stuff. Exactly. Like for instance, a lot of people are buying stuff from Pakistan, but a lot of them forget to say what sort of cut. So when they're getting their uniforms, they're Pakistani cuts, which are a lot thinner and don't have the room in the arms and the legs and getting a problem. You always must ask for Australian cut. Australians have a certain body type, so our uniforms are cut. Like, for instance, Japanese have a certain body type, thus won't fit us properly. Yeah. So, again, when you are importing goods, you also got to be careful of mould coming in on the product when they come in, and you also got to be... The sad thing is a lot of people are bringing it in and not claiming on their tax, which you're going to be done by customs. We take the headache out for you, you know what I mean? So, and the thing is, uh, we also have an embroidery service where we embroider people's black belts at cost price for all clubs. We take great pleasure in supplying black belts for people that have gone for the effort to get black belts and we do it at cost price. We do all the GKR, all the Richard Bradford, we do all the belts for all the major clubs um, and I think that our service is very good. We do a free translation service as well. Well, look, thanks for being on the show. And nice. if you want to see more about it, go to imartialarts.tv and you'll find a link going back to Sensei's website and you can contact him direct. Well, if the website's not up and running, we'll have his phone number down there. Yeah, okay, right. and the phone number is 02 9832 1389 and the email, Sensei's Martial Arts, all in small casings, at yahoo.com.au and our website will be open in around about two months' time. It's going to be massive um, and I've got a new set of people that are going to look after that for me. But I'd really like you to ring me and I'd like to get to know you. That's how I do business. Thank you very much, Graham. Thanks, Always a pleasure. Okay. okay.